Safety comes first at Canfor. The following rules and regulations are designed to improve safety in the log yard for you, other drivers, and Canfor employees. Let's start with a look at the typical route of travel drivers take through the log yard. Trucks enter the log yard from the south at 84th Avenue and proceed to the way scales for weigh in. Next, they continue north to the de-wrapping stations where drivers remove their wrappers. Soon after leaving de-wrap, drivers make a turn to the right and proceed until the stop sign. Here trucks typically will turn left, drive a short distance, and then turn left again into entrance 1, drive several hundred meters, and stop to be unloaded. Here your logs may be taken straight to the mill, or what we call production. Once empty, trucks turn left again and return to the scales to weigh out, and then on to the cleanup area, and for a few, the trailer loader. Most trucks exit the same way they come in, south on the hauling road to 84th Avenue. Let's take a look at what it looks like on the ground. Most trucks come up the private hauling road from the south, cross 84th Avenue, and enter Canfor's log yard. All trucks must enter the log yard from this south entrance. Speed limit in the yard is 20 kilometers per hour. Please switch to radio frequency 166.14. Smoking is not allowed anywhere in the log yard. Loaded trucks should allow empty trucks to pull onto the scales first. When driving on or off the scales, the maximum speed limit is 5 km per hour. Slowly drive onto the scales, put your truck in neutral, and set the brakes. Once you get out of the truck, proper protective equipment is mandatory. Here at the scales, that includes hard hat, high visibility safety vest, and safety toe boots. Enter the scale shack with your TM9 ticket from the field. Start by scanning your ticket. The computer will register the information. Press enter. Confirm that the load has been accepted when congratulations appears on the top left of the computer screen. Your weigh in is now complete. If you do not have a TM9 ticket, the procedure is much longer. On the computer, enter your truck number, then your truck type, load number, enter your contractor, scroll down on the left to find your op subunit, enter your cut block, enter the timber type, enter your driver ID, press enter and the screen will change to log profile. If you are confused about the procedure, please refer to the procedures manual in the scale shack. And remember, you can hit the F5 key at any time to start over. Next, enter the profile for each of your log bunks, followed by the percentage each bunk is filled. Please select the profile None for any bunks that you do not have. If you only have two bunks of logs, please use bunks A and B, and again select None for the other two bunks profile. Insert the ticket in the front of the printer and press forward. If this red screen appears, your load has been chosen as a government sample load. It is very important that you follow the proper procedures for a sample load. We'll look at sample loads in a special segment later in this video. Other than trainers or supervisors, no passengers are allowed in your truck beyond the weigh scales. Passengers must wait at the scale. After you leave the weigh scale, it's a short drive to the de-wrapping stations. Wrappers must only be removed at one of the two de-wrapping stations. Pull in as close as possible to the station on the driver's side. All PPE must be worn, including hard hat, safety vest, safety boots, eye protection, and gloves. Lower the D-band arms until they touch the load. Undo the cinches. Pull wrappers back towards the D-band shelter. Drivers can use the pike pole to release the cinches on the other side of their vehicle. If a wrapper gets caught up in the load and you need to go to the passenger side of your truck to release it, use the pike pole and always make sure you stay outside the orange screw piles. Never go between the screw piles and your truck where a log could fall on you. Once all your wrappers are removed, please return all arms to an upright position before driving away. 
Coming out of the DRAP, trucks are to notify the loader operator of your load profile, including the size of the logs, small, medium, or large, the species, balsam or spruce pine, and whether your load is fresh cut or old harvested wood. Okay, you can head to production. The loader operator needs to know about special loads like salvage wood from an oil lease line or abnormal loads like a cleanup load. These loads need to go in special decks and it's best for the loader operator to know as soon as you leave the derapping station. If your load is a government sample load, please notify the loader operator as soon as you leave the scale shack. We'll have more on sample load procedures later in this video. In the log yard, use radio frequency 166.14. Large and two Make sure the loader operator acknowledges you when you speak to him or her. Shortly after leaving the derappers, the road turns to the right. Signs point you in the direction of the log yard. Stop at the stop sign. Loaders coming from the south will be traveling faster than you, and they have the right of way. Use warning lights at all times in the log yard. Turn left at the stop sign. If you are directed to go to production, turn left at entrance 1. At production, many loads go directly to the mill. This is what entrance 1 looks like on the ground. A sign directs you to go left. When another truck is being unloaded, always stay at least two truck lengths back. In winter, you may instead be directed to entrance 2, which is further to the north and is the entrance to the north winter yard. This is what entrance 2 looks like on the ground. Once the truck in front of you has been unloaded and pulled away, do not immediately pull ahead. Wait until the loader operator gives you the go-ahead first. Be patient. Loader operators may be operating under the mill channel and may not be able to communicate with your truck at the moment, or their hands might be busy with the controls while they're moving a load. Loaders always have the right-of-way. Before traveling behind a loader, ensure you have either radio or eye contact with the loader operator. Otherwise, in dusty or snowy conditions, the loader operator may not see you approaching. At Canfor in Grand Prairie, there are three different log loaders. The 988 is the big boy and can grab one full bunk of logs all at once. Compare that to the smaller bite of his younger brother, the 980. It takes this loader two or three trips to unload a bunk. The high decker, like its name suggests, is capable of putting logs in high places. Obviously, every truck driver hopes they get the 988 for faster unloading, but that is not always possible. Be patient. Sometimes two of the loaders will work together to unload your truck. Drivers must stay in their truck at all times while being unloaded. Logs at Canfor are sorted into decks according to species, size, and whether it's fresh or old harvested wood. This is deck 305. The loader operator will tell you which deck your logs went to. It's important that you make note of those deck numbers and record them for each of your bunks. You will need this information to complete your profile when you weigh out. Once unloaded, wait for the loader operator to give you the OK to pull away. Head back past the mill and go back to the scales to weigh out. When weighing out, place a ticket into the printer and then once again scan your TM9 ticket. Next, enter the deck that each bunk was delivered to. Deck 49 is production. Press Enter to accept your empty weight and to print the log load ticket. Ensure your printed ticket looks correct before leaving the log yard. Put the white copy of your log load ticket into the appropriate basket. The yellow copy goes in the bunk assigned to your contractor. The pink copy is yours to keep. Have a good day. Any damage to your truck or trailer must be dealt with prior to leaving the yard. If you are making a claim, damage report forms are available at the scale shack. Any damage or injury must be reported to the log yard supervisor before leaving scales. After weighing out, head south, turn to the left and pull into the cleanup area to do any required maintenance. Proper personal protective equipment is still required. The trailer loaders are located south of the cleanup area. Operators must load their own trailers. Please follow the posted safe work procedures. Never exceed the maximum posted lifting capacity of the trailer hoist. 
Never put your fingers or hands in a pinch point with the hook or molly. If you see anything unsafe about the trailer hoist, report it to the log yard supervisor or scales immediately. Most trucks exit the log yard from the south end. When clear, go to the left side of the road so that you can make a wide turn onto 84th Avenue heading west. You are permitted to exit the log yard from the west side onto 108th Street. However, you are not allowed to enter the log yard this way. Now it's time to look at government sample loads. When you are weighing in at the scale shack and this red screen appears, then your load has been chosen as a government sample load. Enter your truck number. Take a pink sample load card and place it upside down in the printer. The printer will print your load information on the back of this card. Use this information to fill out the pink card with a felt pen. It is very important that you follow the proper procedures for a sample load. Failure to do so will result in a fine or suspension. Make three copies of the pink card. Grab the stapler. Take a staple gun and staple one pink card to each bunk of logs. Please use enough staples to ensure that the card will not blow off in a strong wind. Just like that. Immediately notify the loader operator that your load has been selected as a government sample load. For sample loads, the route of travel changes once you reach the stop sign. Instead of turning left, you'll turn right and go south. Here's what it looks like on the ground. Turn right after the stop sign and go a considerable distance to the south where you'll come to an intersection. Most sample loads go to yard A1, so you'll need to turn left. You'll likely see other sample loads already on the ground. Wait here for a loader operator to direct you. If deck A1 is full, you will be directed here to deck A2, immediately west of A1 and slightly closer to the mill. Sample loads are later spread out in preparation for inspection by the government scaler. By adhering to the rules and regulations shown in this video, the Canfor Logyard will be a safer and more efficient place for all of us.